Well, hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to Playframe, welcome to Story Mode, and welcome to the conclusion for Final Fantasy XIV, Heavensward. Now again, don't worry, the series is far from over. I, just in case there were some people who didn't watch the A Realm Reborn playthrough, uh, the way that these games are structured is that there are expansions and like the base game, the main story quests for those, and you'll hit credits when you reach the end of that. But in between each expansion, there are progressive releases of patches and a lot of additional story content that sort of ties up the loose ends from that expansion and starts setting up the pieces for the next big expansion story. So we've got a lot of Heaven's Word left to do, including some fun side stuff, but uh, we are going to hit credits on the base game of Heaven's Word today, and that is kind of a finale of sorts, so I hope you enjoy Enjoy. By the way, I'm in a new look again. I went ahead and changed into that stuff that I bought from the nodes. That's a pretty fun look. I like it. Sharp. Literally. Okay. Guidance node. Let's go. The guidance node has ill tidings to share with you. Oh, that's a sour note to start off the finale. I regret to inform you that the matter circuit or matter conduit leading to the flagship is no longer functioning. According to my records, it was destroyed by a dragon, which broke free of its restraints when they failed approximately 2,369 years ago, one month, 24 days, 7 hours, and 4 minutes ago. I said ago twice. I didn't need to. My bad. Please find an alternate route to the Etherochemical Research Facility. The Allegan Research Council apologizes for any inconvenience caused. Dang. Oh, hey, Mitty. So, thy journey hath led thee to this accursed place. Canst thou hear it, mortal? The ceaseless keening of my kindred, steeped in five thousand years of suffering. Long before the Ishgardians and their base betrayal, there lived still more wicked men whose ambitions knew no bounds. Fearful of our might and covetous of our power, they devised a means to enslave dragonkind. Their vile misdeeds did set in motion a train of events whose repercussions are felt to this day. Beyond, thou wilt find one of my first brood. Hark thou unto her words. Partake thou of her pain. Think thou upon the suffering that the conflict between our kinds hath begot. Okay. I almost forgot you were here. It's been a while since you popped out to sass me. Well. <sighs> That's a weird name. Come on, Quay friend. We still got a job to do. And now we're all on our lonesome. You, me, and the tiny little snark dragon that lives in my pocket. It's getting very crystally out here. Very crystally. Hmm. Pretty though. Oh. Hello. That seems like, I'm guessing, our destination. Um, how do I get up there? Um, hang on. Um, Maybe the other side. Here we go. Yes. I think. Wait. No. Yes. Here we go. I arrive. Whew. Big. Ah. No. Oh, come on. This is an embarrassing first impression. A great worm is being held in some manner of restraint. Who cometh to this forsaken place and disturbeth my solitude? Tiamat, my child. 
Father, can it truly be you? None other. My form is such that I may journey with Hydaelyn's chosen. A mortal who desireth to end the war between man and dragon. Millennia have passed since I was brought low by the men of Alec, to think that war rageth still between our kinds. Hearken to my tale, child of man. I am Tiamat, of Midgard Sormer's first brood. In a time before time, my father did come to this star, bearing seven eggs. From these eggs did my children hatch, and once they were full grown, they took wing and spread across all the lands of Hydaelyn. Together with my brood brother, Bahamut, I journeyed south to Mericidia, and together we brought forth innumerable children into the world. We abided in peace, and all was well, until the men of Alec came, some five thousand years since. They slaughtered my children in droves, and took from me my beloved Bahamut. T'was then, when I had fallen into the depths of despair, that black-robed men came unto me, the Asians. They offered to resurrect Bahamut through the dark arts, and I, in my grief, accepted, a decision which I shall regret until my dying breath. For what they brought back was a mockery of my beloved. Worse, the Asians gifted his murderers the means to entrap him. Know this, child of man. The beings thy kind call gods are but specters of thy mind's creation, given form at great cost to Hydaelyn. Many such beings yet slumber across the land, brought to heal by the selfsame empire that bound me. They must not be released into the world. If thou wouldst end the conflict, vanquish thee the Asians, and deliver the weak of will from the bonds of their dark influence. It hath been five thousand years, my child. Wilt thou not forgive thyself? The release of death is denied me here, yet I desire not freedom. Nay, father, I shall live with my regret until the world itself hath ceased to be. Such is my just punishment for consorting with the darkness, for calling forth a loathsome and lamentable creature, which blackeneth thy beloved's memory. Oh. Just a minute. Thou overcome thy many trials.
but glory not in thy success. For the servants of darkness are ever close at hand. Receive of me my blessing once more. And go forth to shine thy light on all creation. Yay! Thou hast broken down the wall I built around thee, and partaken of thy mistress's blessing once more. Strong art thou, mortal. Stronger than any other of thy kind. Having looked upon thy deeds, I am convinced. Thou art worthy to bear her light. The Covenant bound me to thee, but would seem our fates were mingled from the first. Though I will not fight thy battles, I will yet lend thee my wings. Deal. You can now ride Midgard Sormer. That's nice. And we can fly here as well. Hooray. Well. <laughs> Cute. All right then. Where are we headed next? I guess up here, huh? I would wager so. And the map says yes. We have covered some ground. I've not really used a lot of other mounts so far in this playthrough, but there are many. And Midgard Somer is one of them. Now. <sighs> Alright, Guidance Node, what you got? The Guidance Node has been awaiting your arrival at the flagship with customary patience. Welcome to the flagship, Master Derman. You are almost at your destination. Warning. Intruders detected in the vicinity. Please eliminate them if you wish to proceed. Okay. We're getting close. Here, let's get a lift for Midgard Sormer. It'll go a little faster. Alright. I'm here. Um... Warning, intruders approaching. Are they now? You guys are still here. Come on. The Empire is so, so bad at knowing when they're not wanted. I guess most are, aren't they? Kind of by definition. Food for thought. Did you paralyze me? How dare. Go away! Alright. Area secured. Lifting access restriction to the Etherochemical Research Facility. Restriction lifted. You may enter the facility at your leisure. Ending guidance. Unknown energy source detected within Etherochemical Research Facility. Please exercise caution. I am pleased to have been of service to you, Master Derman. 
Please send my regards to Master Wedge. Deactivating. Blue. Well. Here we are. It is time for the final dungeon of Heavensward. Base game, anyway. Let me assemble a crew and let's get ourselves in there. All right, wrecking crew assembled. Let's see, we've got Tibian here as a sage for our healer, Tempopo, our tank as a paladin, and Snowcat, a machinist, helping me out with the damage, probably doing most of the damage if we're honest. Let's get ourselves queued up. And here we go. Your pursuit of the Archbishop has brought you to the Etherochemical Research Facility at the heart of the floating Isle of Azisla. However, he and his knights are not the only threat for which you must be prepared. Shortly before your arrival, the 6th Imperial Legion entered the facility in search of the secret to mastering primals, and their presence will serve to complicate matters. With multiple factions and their ambitions set on a collision course, your mission promises to be fraught with danger and uncertainty both. It's fine, we'll be great. Let's go! Oh, it's gonna be good. We got that good finale energy going in a short crew. Hooray! <laughs> a short crew and babysitter. Thank you all very much for joining. Let's do this. I'm just gonna let this go for a little bit longer. Usually I cut ahead, but enjoy the tunes for a bit. And look forward to fighting, uh, and look forward to seeing us fight a lot of robots. Boy, I wish Dragoon had more AoE moves. <laughs> By level 60. It's kind of just the two. All right, and we're coming up on our first boss. I will crush you underfoot. No sooner do I clear away the rabble. Savages. Let's get this over with, shall we? All right. This first boss mostly just involves a whole lot of AoEs to dodge. There is nowhere to run. And sometimes getting trapped. Enough. Turrets deploy. Can you withstand this? Oh, I'm being attacked by a turret now. And it's going to keep targeting me, so I'm going to try to... Hmm, maybe I should... I can't remember. Should I be, like, trying to get the tank standing in the path? I think so. I think the tank should be standing in the path of that beam so the tank takes the hits instead of me. It's been a bit since I did this one. Enough. Your reputation's well deserved. Very well, let us try something different. Oop, another turret. Die! Break. There we go. Nope. There we are. Woo, okay. <laughs> In the name of the Emperor! Wear him down! The day is yours, but we will meet again. Oop, there he goes. Okay. Ooh, yellow.
Ah, biomass. Slimes. All right here, we're gonna have a bioculture node. It's not a boss, but it's sort of a fancy encounter. We need to be taking this thing out. It's also going to be attracting a lot of attention our way. Which we will try to burn down quickly. In just one big cluster. Hit them all! Hang in there, tank. <laughs> yeah. So many AoEs. Got the orb. Beautiful. And one more orb. Come on. There we go. Orb down. And the rest down. Almost. Come on. There we are. Forward! I believe boss number two is coming up. Activating Harmacus. Commencing bioweapon assessment. Engaging anti-cobra mode. So this is fun. This particular creation swaps between various forms, which we actually encountered before in the Binding Coils of Bahamut raid, I believe. Either that one or the uh, Crystal Tower, both of which were places of Allegan origin. Fun seeing the callback. Anti-Naga testing complete. Engaging anti-machina mode. Yeah. Hands. Hang in there. Uh-oh. Anti-machina testing complete. We almost got it. Come on, go down. There we go. Assessment complete. Result outstanding. Subject approved for mass production. Forward we go. And let's take the lift. I am sure this elevator ride will be uneventful. Oh. Oof, close quarters. Yipes. A lot of AoE for a small space. Eek. Come on, break. There we go. Hey. Final Fantasy 13 enemy again. Fun. Ooh, pretty. Cloned Thaumaturges and Conquerors. Hey now, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is, uh, these are clones of Doga. Crystal Tower reference. I like that they're drawing little subtle connections. And I think we are about to arrive. Yes. At the dungeon's final boss. Yikes. Messy.
The champion of Hydaelyn. Tell me, why do you despise the primals so? They are the embodiment of mortal will, of mortal desire. Plainly, you desire a foe to despise, and tis well that you do, for it is from the vortex of ceaseless conflict that Lord Zodiac shall be reborn. Through the joining, the world shall become whole again. Then all shall be as once it was, as it should ever have remained. For the glory of Lord Zodiac. Your meddling ends here and now, warrior of light. Well, here we go. La Habrea, the rematch, and Igayorm. Get psyched, everyone. Darkness shall consume light. We'll just start with Igayorm. Okay. With Lahabrea helping from the sidelines. Nope. No, thank you. Yep. That either. Damn this! Your light shall burn no more. Know your place. Nope. Yipes. Okay. A lot of AOE. Thank you. Um, nope. Gracious. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ah! You have meddled enough! La Habrea's turn. Nope. Help. You'll not defeat me again. Oh, it's ice. No, oh, it's ice. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Just careful. Ah. Such strength. It defies all reason. No, I will not be bested by the likes of them. La Habrea, it is time. Very well. Let us show these mortals the true power of the Echo. The power to break down the barriers of existence. Well now. Here we go. Round two. Cassian Prime. Ooh. 
Oop. Nope. As before, I think there will be a lot of AoE to look out for. Oop. And these spheres, which we need to take out before they get to Asian Prime, else the attack that follows will be very painful. Oh, okay, and these, which are interesting AoEs that are centered around individual players, but we need to be careful where we move because the ring around us is what's going to hurt our fellows. <laughs> and um, these little spots here are things we're going to need to hide in in a moment because universal manipulation is coming. And now we need to take cover. Or else that would paralyze us for a while. And kind of take us out of the fight. Watch it. Oh, more of these. Ah. Uh, okay. Alright, got the blizzard one. And it's down. Nice. Oop, sorry, everyone. Oh, okay, I just hit I just hit those two with a big attack. My bad. Let's get in a big hit. Quick. Okay, now hide. And we're okay. Oh, now these things. I don't even remember what these do. I'm just gonna <laughs> make sure mine hits just me. And maybe stand back <laughs> away from the others. Come on, finish it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not doing great. The important thing is we're winning. Woo! Good job, team. And thank you very much for the help. You all did great. <laughs> thank you all very much. Tempopo, Tivian, Snowcat, you were great. Thank you for helping me get through this here thing. It was a pleasure to do this here fight with you, and I look forward to uh, joining you again in the future. Let's keep it going. That he might regain the blessing of light I had foreseen. But he has grown so strong in it as to deny us our power. Let us withdraw, Lahabrea. That power remains to us, at least.
So, you harness the eye's power. A pity you spent it all. What will you do now, hero? I had not thought that far ahead. So, not even the vaunted warrior of light can unmake an Atsian without relying upon mortal contrivances. In the distant past, King Thorden and his knights twelve fought and defeated Nidhogg. Though the victory cost them dear, they were rewarded with a great prize, the Dread Worm's Eyes, both of which have since been held in the Holy See's safekeeping. The eye you possess was Nidhogg's left and long has it served as a source of the Azure Dragoon's might. As for its twin... It has lain here joined to the person of Haldreth, the first Azure Dragoon. For though he learned to harness its power, he was ultimately consumed by it. Even in death, his body decays not. A pitiful end for a fabled hero. My Asian friend, long have you and your kind sown the seeds of chaos by teaching mortals the secrets of summoning. But if you assumed that we would meekly serve as your pawns, then you are gravely mistaken. You would raise a hand against us. By taking unto my flesh the soul of the legendary King Thorden, I can become a god! cessation, whose being is sustained by a millennium of fervent prayer, and the eyes nigh bottomless reservoir of ether. What? Your contempt for man has proven your undoing, Asian. For my first act as God King, I do hereby sentence you
sown by Asian, Dragon, or Tribe. Wheresoever the seeds of chaos threaten to quicken, I shall excise them with my divine blade and bring order to the world. And just like that, another fight! It would seem I need to put together another crew. Because yes, we are going to go fight that thing. Be right back. And there we are. Alright, who have we got? We've got Eos Fuyu as one of our tanks, a Dark Knight. Thea as a Paladin, our other tank. Jess will be playing one of our healers as a White Mage. Kire or Chire? Actually, I think it's Chire. Uh, as a Sage, our other healer. And the rest of our damage dealers will be Raja as a Black Mage, Waven as a Ninja, uh, and Kalamal as a Bard. A few new faces in here. Very exciting. Let's get ourselves in there. Apologies, by the way. I'm sure I sometimes say y'all's names wrong, and then I appreciate that y'all correct me, and I know that I sometimes forget again later. There's, there's a lot of names, but <laughs> I am very glad you're all here. Uh, not these. This... Yes, here we go. The Singularity Reactor. Taking the soul of the legendary King Thordon into his flesh, the Archbishop transforms into a primal before your very eyes. Sustained by a millennium of prayer and the eye's ether, he declares his intent to rule over the world with an iron fist, and for all time. Standing at his side are the sworn brothers of the Heaven's Ward, who have likewise transcended their mortal limits by becoming incarnations of the Knights Twelve, Strike them down and eradicate the root of the Dragon Song War. Let's do. By the way, this entire fight, if you're a Final Fantasy VII fan, this entire fight is basically one huge reference to a particular summon spell from that game, so if you know, enjoy! Okay. And here we are with a good group. <laughs> Thank you all very much for joining. Let's do a big fight with a big thing, with big music and big everything. Ah, uh, good times. All right, here we go. That's a nice handy feature you can have. 
initiating a countdown, which is sometimes very useful for the much harder fights when you need everyone to be very coordinated. Your feeble light shall fade before my brilliance. Woo boy. No thanks. This is a visually impressive fight, but actually has a reputation for being a fairly easy one, which is nice. Whoop. Don't stand too close to any of them. For they will explode. Okay. My knights to arms. Oop. Look out. Don't look at that. Look your character away from that red eye. Always look away from that red eye. Or you will usually be hit by some very bad status effect. In the wildest cases, possibly an instant death. I don't know for sure if that happens in any big boss fights, but you just never want to be in the way of those. Whoop. Oh, Ascalon, drink deep of the power of the slumbering gods. I will turn you to ash. Run away. Don't get chained together. Folks are going to want to stand near those pillars, if possible. Lots of things to juggle. Sir Zephyrin, let's take him down. Have you guessed which summon spell they're referencing yet? <laughs> Probably. With me, Sir Janelo. Ever and always, brother. Gonna wanna tank these a little separately from each other. Oop, but there is a very large boom. Stand as far away from that as possible to take the least damage possible. The closer you stand to those floor AoEs, the more it hurts. Be frozen to your very souls. Eef. Let's keep that away from everyone else. Prepare yourselves. It's a lot of AoEs, guys. Okay. Just gonna stand underneath this comet circle here and attack it, you know? Hopefully that'll do the trick. Take him out. Go oh, and don't stand near that. If we can avoid it. Oh, big AoEs. I shall end your vain struggle. Enjoy the spectacle. Uh, so fun. All right, let's finish it. You survived my divine reckoning. Impossible.
How? How can this be? A millennium of prayer and the eye's power combined, and still you stand. We win. <laughs> Thanks for waiting, everyone. And thank you so very much for joining in this, the final battle of Heavensward. Yay! We did it, everyone. And now we just get to enjoy all the good cutscenes and such. It's going to be very good. Thank every one of you for joining and for being here. Thank you. Let's enjoy the rest, shall we? It is over, then. I had hoped that mine would be the hand to end it. But knowing you, there was little chance of that. That is true. It would seem the eye has served you well. to take them beyond the reach of man and dragon both. With this task accomplished, my toil shall finally be at an end. Hadst done well to resist mine influence, bathed in my power and blood as thou wert. Alas, in thine anticipation of comfort, thou hast lowered thy guard. The keening of my fallen kindred, their smoldering desire for vengeance. Mine eyes have partaken of a thousand years of pain, a pain which I shall bestow upon thee. Drink deep of my rage, mortal, and become me.
Do you always have to cut it so bloody close? It would seem he has done it again. Was there ever any doubt? Let us return to Ishgard. Our friends will be eager to learn the battle's outcome and welcome back their champion. Justinian. I dare say you are the first soul in Ishgardian history to arrive in our city upon Dragonback. This scene shall be remembered for a thousand years to come. As we had feared, the Archbishop summoned the soul of King Thorden unto himself, and thence became a primal. But he and his knights are no more thanks to the Warrior of Light. Your struggles are not yet over, mortals. Uh, whom do I have the pleasure? I am Midgard Sormer. I have journeyed with Heidelin's champion and observed his deeds in the conflict between man and dragon. Tell me, children of Thordon, do you desire peace? My people have committed unspeakable atrocities against dragonkind, even against our own. Would that we could undo these wrongs, but we cannot. Be that as it may, the future yet presents a chance to begin anew. Our nation has broken free of the shackles of a false faith, and Nidhogg shall lead his kindred against us no more. I doubt not that it will require much effort and perseverance, but tis my belief that in time, Ishgard will again become a place where man and dragon may abide together in harmony. I shall remember thy words. Yet be warned, Nidhogg's soul liveth on. His unbridled rage hath claimed for its vessel the one thou callest the Azure Dragoon. Astinian. Doubt not but that Nidhogg will call out to his brood ere long nor that they shall answer him. Steal yourselves, for the true test is yet to come. Come what may, we will never cease to believe. Upon the souls of they who have sacrificed themselves to pave the way for peace, we will never 
abandon our cause. A thousand year war cannot be ended in a day. It may take generations. What thou dost begin, thy children must continue. Entrust unto them thy hopes and dreams, that peace may reign again and forevermore. I do hereby declare that from this day forth the Holy See of Ishgard shall once more be counted a member of the Eorzean Alliance. Let our nations move forward as one and stand united against the Galian Empire. For the future of Eorzea. For the future of Eorzea! Monument to a noble soul. From here, Lord Orgefon can watch over all of Ishgard. It has been a long and arduous journey, and we have lost much and more along the way. Yet come what may, we must stay true to our purpose and press on. <laughs> That's right, you two! It's high time we got back to rebuilding the Scions. Which means we're going to need money, and lots of it! So ends a glorious chapter in their tale. However, 
Tumultuous days yet lie ahead for Ishgard. After a thousand years under the yoke of the church, the people take their first tentative steps into the unknown. And though they spy a glimmer of peace upon the horizon, Nidhogg's vengeful shadow yet remains to darken the way. Be that as it may, So long as the young commander of the Temple Knights and his heroic companions are there to guide them, the people may hold fast to hope. The hope that one day, true peace will return to Ishgard, and that man and dragon may live in harmony once more. Let the deeds writ herein never be forgot that they may inspire generations yet unborn to strive ever heavensward. And there it is. We've done it. You made it to the end. Again. <laughs> the, I don't know, second or third of many. But boy, what an, an improvement though, right? Compared to the base game of A Realm Reborn, it's really starting to feel almost like a different game. Two or three expansions from now, it will feel like a completely different game. I can't really... I don't feel like I can accurately communicate or convey what it feel what it felt like uh, playing through Shadowbringers and Heaven's Word on my own time while recording the playthrough of A Realm Reborn and feeling just like, wow, this is almost unrecognizable. It almost doesn't feel like the same game I've been playing on my own time. It's amazing how far this has come. And Heaven's Word was just really like it get it gets better than Heavensward, <laughs> even, but Heavensward is such a huge jump forward, and really does finally properly demonstrate and show what this team is capable of, which is I think a big part of why it is so beloved and held in such high regard. The real wild thing is is that if you wanted to play this game and didn't want to like have to pay for a subscription or anything everything we've done so far is still included in that free trial including everything we're still going to do for the rest of heaven's word it's pretty wild but i really hope you've been enjoying this i've definitely enjoyed revisiting and seeing heaven's word again i'm very excited to see uh the stories that follow because it's at this point been some months to a year or more since i uh, saw this stuff so it, it's fun going back through and seeing it kind of uh, not really with fresh eyes, but get, getting to see it now, now that I also myself have the context of the full story and all the things that they're going to be pulling from later. Speaking of which, let's talk about the plan going from here. From here, uh, we will be playing through not just the patch stories that came out following the release of Heavensward, uh, patches 3.1, 3.2, etc., uh, leading up to the release of the next big expansion, Stormblood. We will also be doing a few optional bits of uh, story content. Some of which I wasn't really originally planning to do. But um, the further I've gotten into Shadowbringer, uh, Shadowbringers and Endwalker and all those, the more I've started to realize that anything <laughs> that seems skippable any of that optional content that seems like, oh, that's not going to be important. They're not going to bring that back. They've brought back a lot of it. <laughs> Some of it just in very small ways. But I, I keep on being surprised at how they managed to make old stuff relevant. So I have gone ahead and decided that instead of picking and choosing which raid series, for example, we do going forward, I am just going to plan on doing all of them. 
we're going to burn through them pretty fast. We will see the raid stories. Many of them will be fairly self-contained. Some of them will have a little relevance to things that go on in the future. Some will have a lot of relevance to things that go on in the future. But we're just going to do all of them because they're fun. Even the ones that aren't really that relevant, usually they are fun little side stories. And I'll try to, as we go through them, I will try to in some way designate to you and signal to you whether or not this is something which is optional story content so that if you're watching this like in a playlist later, if you want to be able to skip ahead, I can maybe like, maybe like in a pinned comment beneath these episodes, I can sort of say, hey, if you're wanting to skip ahead to like main story stuff again, go to this episode. It's something like that. I don't know, but uh, I'll figure it out. We're in this for the long haul anyway. Let's just go ahead and stop and smell the roses because the roses from here on, they're all pretty good. <laughs> It's pretty good roses. So yes, we will be stopping and doing the uh, raid series and those side stories as we go through, as well as one or two other little smaller story quests that are optional, but uh, particularly good and relevant to uh, stuff that's been going on in Heavensward or stuff that is going to be coming up soon in Stormblood. And there is a lot to look forward to in Stormblood. There's a lot to look forward to in general. I guess here, I'll, I'll do the thing. If you've enjoyed this, if you've been enjoying this series, please do consider subscribing. You've heard me say this all before at this point, probably a couple times, but I appreciate you watching. Uh, consider supporting us on Patreon as well. That has helped a great deal with like, <laughs> with me just deciding to stick with this for the long haul, seeing how much support that we got, not just from people watching, but people like the wave of support we got on our Patreon when I started this series was something I'm very grateful for. And it has let it has led me to commit to doing this. And so thank you if you are supporting us on Patreon. And if you're not, then consider it even just for a dollar a month. It helps us a lot and it adds up and it uh, yeah, it just equips us to make these videos as good as we possibly can. So thank you all very much. Uh, and now, good as this music is, and good as all these people who made this good thing are, I'm going to go ahead and skip these credits because this could take a while. <laughs> and let's see any of the last little scenes that happen afterwards. So La Habrea and Igayorn have fallen. Bested by mortals in their attempt to initiate the Eighth Rejoining. That they should be so complacent. And now it falls to me to deal with the consequences. Without intervention, the balance between light and darkness will begin to shift, placing our mission in jeopardy. Hydaelyn's champion has grown too strong. His might encroaches upon the realm of gods. Equilibrium must needs be restored. The time has come for you and yours to join the fray. Warrior of Darkness. Remind me, why is there no rest for the righteous? Because they care, Master Garland.
Ah, of all the things they could have picked to play with, that's not a toy, you bloody fools, it's a primal! Spires of deception crumble to dust, to lay bare truths long concealed. Beyond simmering shadow lieth shimmering light. Teases of things to come very soon. Hmm, guess we better wrap this up, huh? If the Aorzean Alliance can be restored to its former glory, so can the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Let's find our lost friends and begin anew. I like that plan. After long years of estrangement, Ishgard rejoins her sister nations in the Alliance. Words cannot well express my joy. None of this would have been possible without you, my friend. Change is coming to Eorzea, though it will inevitably bring with it a measure of upheaval, with hard work, peace, and prosperity are sure to follow. And yet, even as we look forward to the coming of a new age, we must needs be wary of old threats. The lords of Garlemald have not relinquished their claim upon Eorzea, and we shall be forced to contend with them again ere long. And then there's the matter of our comrade Estinian, claimed body and soul by Nidhogg. If there is a way to rescue him, we must find it. Suffice it to say, the path ahead holds no shortage of challenges, but together we shall overcome them. That we shall. I feel similarly. <laughs> and there we are. All wrapped up and ready, when we're ready, to start the 3.1 story and the patches and all that sort of stuff. And we will. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with that strange robot bubble thing. We'll deal with a lot of things. Probably not right away. I'll probably need a little break again, uh, both to work on some other things and just to rest up a little bit. But soon enough, we will resume our story mode run of Final Fantasy XIV with the patch content of Heaven's Word. And I do hope you are as excited as I am for that. Thank you all so very much for watching and for continuing to support the series. And I will see you again soon for more Heavensward. Do take care, all of you. And until then, goodbye.